Hello everyone, how are you? Are you ready for Christmas? Um, I'm not quite there, but you know, it will happen. It will always does. But first of all, this weekend, I'm focusing on my son's birthday and we're gonna have a kind of early sort of festive celebration with the family. So I'm gonna be cooking. I'm gonna be doing like a roast dinner, like a kind of, like a Christmas dinner. Um, for everybody with pudding as well so I'm going to be doing that and then for the rest of the weekend um, there's lots of other little Christmas things I want to do and with my daughter we've been making this Christmas decoration this garland sewing it for ages so we're going to finally try and finish that and put it up and just get those little sort of final Christmas touches done in the house but firstly, the, what I wanted to do was share my food haul. So I went to Lidl and I spent £140, which I know is loads, but I am finding that my food bill is over £100 sort of pretty much every month now. Are you the same? It's definitely, I can see an increase in food costs. So I thought I'd share my haul and just explain, you know, what I bought and what I'm gonna be using it for. And then I was just going to share some footage of some of the things that I'm doing over the weekend. So I'm not gonna explain everything, but some of the highlights for me were that I got this little box again. So this was £1.50 with all of this in here. There's some potatoes, baking potatoes, onions. I've got a melon, so on its own, that would have been £1.50. The peach, you know, random things like there's a load of sweet potatoes under there. Um, so I can definitely use that. I, I can imagine soup. I can cut some of these peppers up and put them in the freezer, which is brilliant. I love oranges at this time of year. I might even dry some, put them in the oven and dry them. That could be good. A little thing to do this weekend. So I was really pleased with that. I got lots of vegetables um, that we need. So I'm gonna be cooking um, a roast dinner on Sunday. Big pack of sprouts, they were good value. They're only about 40p, which I thought was good. Um, and the carrots and a big bag of potatoes. I got three lots of strawberries. So I'm gonna serve um, some strawberries properly with some ice cream at the weekend. Um, I do like getting these ham trimmings. You have to look through carefully to see what they've got, but when they've got these really nice thick pieces of ham, it can be really, really good value um, for sandwiches. I always tend to pick up a chorizo and some mozzarella because I like using that on things like pastas and um, just making it taste, this, it gives it a real depth of flavour, adding a little bit of this chorizo and it lasts for ages in the fridge. I've got their yogurts as I normally would. I've got two lots of cheese, um, the soft cheese like um, Philadelphia because I'm thinking I might do um, a cheesecake. So I've got two lots of that. Some um, goujons just to have um, in the freezer. I'm gonna do a Chinese on Saturday. So I'm gonna do like a, a chicken stir fry and duck and pancakes. So that will be yummy. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna do two chickens and some um, pigs in blankets. Now, this Christmas, what I'm thinking about doing is not cooking a turkey. So we're not hosting Christmas Day, we're doing Boxing Day. Um, and I'm gonna do like a buffet with roast chicken and you know potatoes and all the yumminess so this weekend I'm gonna cook up both of the chickens and I have been cooking them in the air fryer recently and it's been going really really well so that I've got the meat cooked and then I'll do a full roast dinner you know pigs and blankets um, vegetables and roast potatoes and all the things um, got a big thing of milk I'm still having the lactose free milk, um, feel that that sort of, I seem to cope with that better. Um, Greek yogurt, I love having this on hand. It lasts for ages, brilliant for bulking out sauces, pasta sauces and things like that. Squirty cream for hot chocolate, it's got to be done at this time of year. And obviously had to get those for the kids when I saw them. 
I always pick up their cheese and butter. Uh, this is the spreadable butter that I um, really like. Um, double cream because I'm going to make a sticky toffee pudding and make a toffee sauce. I like to have some whole milk um, for recipes. I feel like it works better. And then eggs. We get through so many eggs and because I'm going to be baking this weekend, I got all of those. So I got um, three dozen 36 eggs. So brilliant. Over here, I got three loaves of the sourdough bread um, that I have. Um, some pizza bases, although I'm going to probably treat my son um, to a takeaway as well. Takeaway pizza. Um, I got a couple of these little cookies for a treat um, for the kids. Um, I got this big box of wine box. Um, I, I used to buy sort of bottles of wine, then I went on to boxes and now I'm sort of I'm back to using boxes again. I just feel like they last longer. We don't drink enough wine um, every week and I find that it can last for several weeks, which means that that for me is much better value than sort of drinking more or throwing wine away, heaven forbid. I just got some um, sort of fruit. It, this is a non-alcoholic grape juice as well for Sunday. I got a load of these breakfast muffins because my daughter loves having poached eggs and muffins. Um, delicious. So I've got a load of those put in the freezer and rolls. Needed some more oil, so I think I'm going to make some brownies and flour I just like to have by me. Now, fun fact is I'm absolutely obsessed with mayonnaise. It's one of my... I don't know it's a real vice I just love it and get through a lot of it um, and I actually like the little one so I got a couple of those to keep me going I'm gonna make a chocolate fridge cake for my son for his birthday so got some biscuits for that plus some extra chocolate so I was just worried he might have eaten some of it and I need it for the recipe um, and then this strawberry jam which I do like getting it's like the um, the Maman one that I really like, but it's obviously a fraction of the price. I picked these up for my husband now. If you are a teacher or married to a teacher, these things are gold dust, in particular the greens. So I saw them and I thought, brilliant, I'm just gonna get them for him and wrap them up um, for Christmas and then he can use them for his marking. I also picked up these for him. So he'll do a card for all the kids um, in his class and then he can pop a little Santa, chocolate Santa inside and that will be, you know, it for, for Christmas. And I, what I do like doing as well is taking one of these, popping a little sort of string on it or a piece of ribbon with a, with a piece of um, sellotape and using them as tree decorations and save yourself a packet doing that because they were only 99p. So any that I've got left from my husband's cards can be um, tree decorations. My son is mad on these. They're like um, Doritos, again, fraction of the price. But he, because um, it's his birthday, I thought, well, he can have a few of those for a treat. And then I just, oh, I don't know. This is a silly purchase, really. But I just love, silly, isn't it? But I do like having the Christmas toilet paper um, at Christmas time, particularly in the downstairs toilet when we have guests. So I just think it's fun. I like doing that and then popping a little bit of um, essential oil on the, the toilet roll. And it just, you know, it gives us a really yummy Christmassy smell and just, I think, looks lovely. I had to pick up some of these mince pies. I do love a warm mince pie. So I had to get them. I haven't actually, I don't think I've tried the Lidl Deluxe ones, but I didn't think they were too expensive. I think they were one ninety nine, but... I'm not going to make them, so hey, try those. And then I got these for my son for his birthday, so I'm going to wrap those up because he does love a cookie. Just kind of disclaimer that he um, is super, super healthy and he does tons of athletics and um, football. He plays football and rugby and he d he goes to the gym and all of that. And I think he can he absolutely has an amazing balance with what he eats. But that's a nice treat for him. And then um, I also picked up this box of uh, biscuits just to put in the cupboard, really. Um, so that if I need to give um, another present or if my husband suddenly says he needs something for a colleague, then we've got something else that we can give. So I'm just making a sticky 
toffee pudding sauce. I made a sticky toffee pudding um, yesterday, a gluten free one, but it isn't a triumph. But I figured if I covered it in sauce and have um, some yummy vanilla ice cream with it, and that would be fine. So I'm just making a cream and sugar and butter and sauce. So that would be nice to go with it. And then I've got flapjacks in the oven because my husband's got a buffet at school tomorrow and he will need, he needs those. And then I'm going to do, get the potatoes roasting in the oven. That is the next job. So I want to sit down to eat at 12.30. So my thinking is if I can get the flapjacks done, get them in the oven and then get these boiling because there's so many of them I think it's going to take a while just to get them sort of boiled and then drained and dry and get the oil really hot all of the things so that is the next job the table's looking really really lovely Emily helped to um, decorate it and now her cousins are here and they're playing and dancing around and it's just Emily just finished making these reindeers, this amazing little reindeer kit. It was three pounds from B&M, complete bargain. And she's made these, and look how gorgeous they are. And she's done all the detail on the antlers and everything. So cute, and they kept her occupied ages. Just really, really love them. They're amazing. Oh, that's Emily giving you a thumbs up. <laughs> 